Hey guys, Viejo here. It's getting towards the end of the first week of April. And I've got a little reloading bench hack here for you today. I'm getting ready to do some hardness testing using the Lee hardness testing kit. And many of you are familiar with this kit. You get the little 20 power microscope, the testing die itself. It's got the ballpoint uh, uh, end on it that's spring loaded. And that tip on there puts a dimple into the bullet that we're going to test the hardness of. Well, you guys know how this, this works. If you've ever used this kit before, we put the bullet here on the little V block. And then you're supposed to come in here and hold this over the bullet. Well, and look at that um, dimple, and there's a scale etched into the lens down there. And you read the width of that dimple, and then that corresponds, that width corresponds to a particular hardness on a scale that Lee provides for you. Well, this thing is shaky, and it's hard to hold, and everybody knows that. Um, and it's also hard to get the light right. You know, we end up coming in here with our with our little pocket light and trying to do two things at once, and it's it's tricky. So to that end, there are uh, a few commercially produced holders for the 20 power microscope. They're out there, and you can buy those if you want. The kit itself is getting quite expensive. I think I paid around 50 or $60 for the kit when I bought it. And now it's up close to $100. So you go buy one of those commercially made one uh, holders and they're gonna be 20, 30 bucks more on top of that. But today I'm gonna show you how to make one for free that works. So we're gonna start with this. This is a small water bottle and you can use the bigger ones, okay? This is just a little six ounce size. You can get the bigger ones, but this one will work. First thing we're gonna do is get rid of that tape on there because we want some light to come through here. And then we're gonna cut the bottom out of this. So I'm just gonna come in here with my box cutter and just do as good a job as I can to make this cut even all the way around. We're gonna set this up on the bench and we want it to set as flat as possible. So in order to do that, we need to make a pretty flat cut around there. And that's not too bad. It's not the best cut I ever did, but it will work. There we go. That's going to sit up there pretty straight. This one still has a little water in it, so I'm going to quickly wipe that off. You don't need that. All right. Get that little mess cleaned up there. Then we're going to take the, the lid and we're going to bring in a couple of other little tools that I know you probably have. One is a 40 Smith & Wesson case and our case mouth reamer and chamfer tool. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this to punch a hole through the top of this cap. And that hole is going to be where the microscope goes. And as it turns out, the little 40 short and weak guy here is exactly the right size for this. So what we're going to do here is we're going to just come in here and we're going to use our reamer and we're going to sharpen up the mouth of that a little bit. All right. Just to kind of turn, turn it into a, a cutter. And it's going to be a sacrificial case because I'm going to end up reaming this sharper than what I would want to use it at. All right. And I'm going to go grab a hammer and a backup block. Be right back. Okay, so I've got my ball peen hammer here. I'm going to take this cap and we're going to put it bottom down or top down, I guess, on, on our block there. 
can come in here and center this as closely as I can. It doesn't really matter if it's perfect or not. And we're going to give that a nice little swat. And that came out. There's the plug. Got a nice hole. And then this will go back on here. And our microscope fits right down in there and it's going to be adjustable. Okay. And that cap eventually is going to wear out, but that's all right. You know, get another one. Okay, so that solves the holder part of this. We can set this right down in here over top of our bullet like that. And that will hold it nice and steady. The next thing we need to do, though, is solve the issue with something to hold the flashlight. You're going to love this. All right. So this is also going to be free. So enter the ubiquitous toilet roll tube. And, you know, how free these are. If you don't have one handy right now, you will buy tomorrow, probably, unless you share your home with a bunch of females, in which case you'll have another one by 2.30 or so. So you take your box cutter or, you know, everyday carry knife, cut down two and a half inches uh, on, on this one side, about an inch wide. On the other side, another inch wide and down about an inch inch and a quarter, something like that. And that has been scientifically been proven <laughs> to be the right length. And I'm going to come in here with a little bit of painter's tape and stick this down in here like this. Get in there. Just to kind of hold stuff together. And then that's going to give me a nice angle there for my light. All right. So there's my, there's my light holder. And here's my scope holder. And it's adjustable. You can move this up or down. No sweat. And look down through there all day long for free. Okay. Anyway, maybe you can make use of that. Maybe not. But there it is. All right. That's all she wrote. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs>